Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. I want to go over Apple Business Connect. Now, this service is very similar to Google and Bing, but the only difference is that your business will be featured on Apple Maps, Google shows on Google Maps, Bing on Bing Maps, you get it. It's pretty basic when you think of it like that, but it makes sense because for my clients, especially, I have one who has two locations in New York City. A lot of their competitors are not on Apple Maps, so getting on there has led to more phone calls, more website visits, more um, uh, potential clients, all that kind of stuff. So it is quite important. Uh, if you don't know how to set this up, simply search for Apple Business Connect. You're going to get to this page here. Click on Get Started. It is pretty basic. They didn't ask me for my business to verify with like any video walkthrough. I know Google, my business right now has a, people have been reaching out to me saying, hey, you can't get my business verified through Google My Business because the video thing, uh, that was not the case for me for Apple, but it did take about two and a half weeks for Apple to finally verify my business. So simply just get your business featured on there uh, because it's going to be um, another way to drive more people to your website. So this is the dashboard over here. And by the way, this is what it's going to look like on a mobile phone. So someone who searches on Apple Maps for TM Blast, you're going to find my business, obviously. Um, so a couple of things I've done. The description here is similar to Google My Business. Um, I've noticed that it's not as long as the description that I can do within Google My Business. So I copied what I did for Google. I tried putting it into Apple. It was too long, so I had to kind of condense it. So just one thing to uh, to remember as you're setting that up. Two, you want to add photos to your page. So here I am in my location. This is um, what I think is really important about this is that uh, I I put on a sign for the outside of my location. Um, you can add the caption and all text. I'm actually going to do that as well. So I uploaded this on November 17th. Today is the 29th. As I said, it took a while for uh, Apple to verify all this, but that is important just to simply do. Add the photos to show your location. That's going to be great because, again, it's it's that carousel over here. You can click on all photos and from the business especially. Um, you're going to have your address here, your hours, very similar to Google My Business, phone number, website, now, this is interesting. This is showcases. Um, so I have one in review now. I'm just kind of testing this out. Basically, how this is going to look. Um, I wrote an insurance SEO page just on my side, just as like kind of like a like a test. Um, uh, because I'm doing all these videos for um for local search. And I figure I'll just make a dedicated page about it because um I go to some meetups and there's always some insurance people that I talk to. And I said, might as well just create a page about it. But uh it's gonna look like this. So you know what what should happen with my business again i'm going to start on december 2nd is that if you if you search for tm blast within apple maps this little icon here should show up insurance seo so it's more real estate on the page and also i've noticed from clients i've worked with who we've been using apple maps you want to get your services or deals showcased on apple maps it's a great way to get more phone calls you actually have all these options here too so i said i said more info but you can do you know directions call now, share this place. So for one of my clients, they are out. I mean, they're in New York, as I mentioned, uh, but getting phone calls is actually quite important. So you can kind of feature that. Maybe it's a sale. Maybe it's just, you know, um, request an appointment, whatever it is. Call now. Great way to get more people into uh, your business. Um, so let me go back into the info section. You can do other things too, like good to know. Now for mine, you know, there isn't too much that's interesting about this, but if you are Again, for like my client, they can say things like there is like a parking garage, street parking. You can say things like what type of credit cards they take. All of this is really important. Again, you want to build out that knowledge panel as big as you can. That's what we've been doing with one of my clients is uh, building this thing out uh, quite a bit. Um, let's see what else I want to go over. That's pretty much it. I would say for right now uh, in this, in this uh, video, it's really more just kind of exposing you to what Apple Business Connect is. In my next video, I'm going to go over it with Local Falcon. I'm not going to use my client as the example, but I'm going to use another random um, account that I can find and start to show how you can optimize the Apple Business Connect page. So anyway, hope you guys found this video interesting. Again, a description in the description, there's a link so you can see how to set up and how to create a business account in Apple. Let me know if you guys have any questions and as always, have a good rest of your day.